Um, I will be refuting the claim that the IQ test is biased. The supporting facts for this were that the IQ test has cultural and the time frame bias, and that the IQ does not test does not test natural intelligence. The first example given in the speech was to support that the, there was a cultural bias in the IQ test. The speaker said that the test taker is first asked to identify an upside down alarm clock, second to rotate mentally a quarter turn to the right before matching the resulting visual perspective with one of the five drawings. Next, the speaker talks about how this is a cultural bias because you need to know what the back of an alarm clock looks like and the knowledge of the, of the arrow as a visual symbol. The warrant behind this claim is irrelevant. In order to solve this problem on the IQ test, you would not need to know what the back of an alarm clock is, what an alarm clock is, or what an arrow is. All you need to know is how to turn an object one quarter to the right. As stated by Discovery.com in an article written in 2011, the IQ test does not measure the quantity of your knowledge, but rather measures a person's general intellectual ability to understand ideas as compared to the general population at the same developmental level. This example does this exactly. Thus, not supporting the claim that the IQ test has a cultural bias, but is rather doing what it is designed for and measuring a person and measuring a person's understanding of how to rotate an object. The second example given supported the fact the claim that there's a time frame bias on the IQ test. The second example given to support this claim came up from a source that was written in 1959 and talks about how there's a time frame bias in the IQ test. The example states. Choose a word similar to Davenport. A love seat, B desk, C sofa, and D bed. Lack of knowledge that a love seat in length is less than six feet, including two armrests, will prevent the test taker from knowing the answer by using spatial recognition. By using spatial recognition is a love seat. This example once again does not support the claim or the evidence meant to support the claim. A reference used to support the claim from the speaker was that several different circuits contribute to intelligence each with its own unique capacity. A person may be well be well being good in one of these areas, but they are just as, unlike, just as likely to be bad in the other two. The speaker said, Dr. Highfield, a co-author of a study published in the journal Neuron, is referring to the components measured in the IQ test, which are vocabulary, reading comprehension, comprehension, and, and spatial recognitions. This example does not show a time frame bias. This example shows that you need to know what a love seat is and by using spatial recognition to understand what a love seat is, which is what the IQ test is meant to test you on. The third claim support, um, is how the IQ test emphasizes learned skills rather than naturally learned skills. Although the IQ test is meant to test you on learned skills, such as the speaker said, which are vocabulary, reading comprehension, and spatial recognition, which are all learned skills. The example given to support this claim was Muhammad Ali and how he was amazing at spatial recognition but lacks the other two essential factors to the IQ test, which are vocabulary and reading comprehension. The IQ tests are used for different purposes and problems. According to 123test.com, the IQ test is used for choice of profession and associated problems, staff selection, choice of school and study, and clinical research into illness and negatively that negatively affect intelligence, such as dementia. At the bottom of the website, there is a sample IQ test that you could test that you could take that only involved ten questions. All the all the ten questions tested my vocabulary, reading comprehension, and spatial spatial recognition. The conclusion made from this evidence should not be that the IQ test has certain biases based on cultural time frame, or that the IQ test does not test natural skills. The IQ test may have cultural biases because the lack of education for some people is different than others, but this ev the evidence shown does not allow for the speaker to reach this conclusion.
All right. Well, the main and the secondary claims are laid out pretty well. You talk about the cultural bias issue. I thought that was the most effective argument, in essence, saying that the test that the ex that the advocate used doesn't require any of the things that the advocate said it needed. It just required a simple turning of the uh, thing one quarter of the way to the right, and that none of the other things matter. I thought that was a pretty straightforward explanation and shows that uh, the challenge there is problematic. On the second point, you're suggesting that the evidence, I mean, you say it comes from 1959, and that sounds like it might be old. Maybe the language reference are out of date, but you don't really explain that. You instead explain talking about this um, reference to um, spatial recognition and that that's really what the love seat whole argument is about, that it's about spatial recognition. And I, I can kind of understand that the example here is being used in the same way as in the first example, suggesting that the answer doesn't matter what the language is, it's really about this spatial issue. So I, I can kind of understand how the first two arguments work. But this whole discussion about learning versus natural, and uh, <laughs> when you uh, talk about the advocate's example about Muhammad Ali, I don't I can't follow most of what you're talking about. You you run through a whole series of claims that um, they don't seem to be building toward any particular point. Uh, they, they're statements without a context, and it sounds, frankly, like uh, some gobbledygook. Uh, the stuff that you have that you talk about on the bottom of the page where they had the sample test, I think there's maybe a, a little bit of an argument to be developed here that says, look, there's just looking for these particular things, and the, the stuff that people are saying is biased uh, it simply means that people don't measure on those particular things. It doesn't mean that they're an idiot. I think that's the way you want to uh, respond on that particular point. And you, you need to kind of simplify the point. There's, you're, you're so caught up in reading these long, complex explanations that we don't ever get a chance to understand what those things end up meaning. So I, like I said, I thought it was much clearer on the first two points, and then the stuff that you get to later on just seems abstract. All right, thank you.